In this video, I'll show you how to add PayPal to WooCommerce in a way that your site doesn't break when using the payment plugin and hackers can't steal your financial information. First, I'll show you the four things that your WooCommerce site needs to have before adding PayPal. Then I'll show you how to add PayPal to your WooCommerce site. And lastly, I'll show you the reality of whether your site's financial data and your customer's financial data is actually safe with your security plugin or you're a sitting duck for hackers. All right, let's begin. Chapter one, pre-installation checklist. First, please, please, please back up your site before you install a plugin for PayPal. Even the most trusted payment plugin made by WooCommerce itself often causes issues and break sites. If you don't have a backup plugin yet, check the video above where we compare the best ones. You can also check out our plugin blog world, which has helped over a million sites and is hands down the most reliable plugin in the market. All right, the next three things are basically making sure that we have the required versions of WordPress, WooCommerce and PHP for the WooCommerce payment plugin to function properly. So head over to the tools menu on the left side of your dashboard, click on site health and then select info. Now click on the WordPress tab and make sure you have version 5.3 or higher. Next, find active plugins and select WooCommerce. Here you should have the version 3.9 or higher. Lastly, click on the server tab and make sure you have PHP version 7.1 or higher. Chapter two, adding PayPal to WooCommerce checkout. Now, there are many plugins that you can use to add PayPal to your site. I'll show you how to do it using the WooCommerce PayPal payments. It sounds like a tongue twister, but it's WooCommerce's own plugin and the most popular one. The first step is largely self-explanatory and easy. Simply go to the PayPal website and click sign up. Select business account and click next. Enter your credentials. Fill in details about your business and then click agree and create account. Now that's done. Let's start with integrating PayPal into your site. Head over to the plugins tab and click add new. Search for WooCommerce PayPal payments. Click install and activate. Click the WooCommerce logo and then settings. Go to the payments tab and toggle PayPal as your preferred payment gateway. Click the activate PayPal button. Here you'll need to log into your PayPal business account. Click on agree and connect, then go back to WooCommerce developers. This will lead you back to your WP admin dashboard. If you check your website, PayPal should be one of the payment options available at checkout. Now we're close to being done, but please, please listen to me. We need to test this once before it goes live. What if the checkout page malfunctions and customers can't place orders or they place the order, but you don't get the payment? <laughs> no, we're going to test this once using the sandbox feature. Here's how you do it. Go to the PayPal developer site and click login to dashboard and log in or create an account with your PayPal credentials. Next, in the sandbox tab, click create account and select business account. Fill in your email and click create. Click manage accounts next to your associated sandbox account and you'll see an email and password. Copy these details. On WP Admin, go to the WooCommerce tab and select the PayPal tab. Scroll down and click test payments with the PayPal sandbox. On the next page, paste the email and password of your sandbox account. Click agree and connect. Go back to your PayPal developers dashboard and create a new sandbox account. This time select personal buyer account. Click the user and you'll be able to see a dummy name, email and password that you can use to test the process. Sign out of your account and go to your site. Use the personal sandbox account and dummy information to buy a product. Make payment through PayPal while buying the product and you'll be redirected to a sandbox PayPal site where you'll have to add sandbox email and password. Use the dummy payment options from PayPal and try it out. Once you're done testing, go back to your PayPal settings on your admin dashboard and click test payments with PayPal sandbox to disable sandbox. Congratulations, your WooCommerce store can now accept PayPal payments. But there's one big step left. Most people assume that WooCommerce is secure or their security plugin is good enough, but you will be shocked by how vulnerable you really are. So I'll share five tips to ensure that no hacker can easily break into your site. Chapter three, five tips to secure WooCommerce. First of all, let's bust some myths. There is plenty of bad security advice on the internet that takes effort, but barely moves the needle. Even worse, they can really mess up the user experience on your site. So Please, do not change your database prefix. Do not hide your login URL. Don't password protect core files or remove the WordPress version number. Next, please install a security plugin that actually works. I'll link a video above where I used almost 100 types of malware over three months to test the most popular security plugins. If you don't have time, I'll give you a quick summary. The only dependable and complete security plugins in the market right now are WordFence and our plugin Malcare. Now, I'm not just saying to just plug our own plugin, but here's a table of the main pros and cons of both. Okay, next, you need to protect your config.php file because it contains sensitive information. The 
the simplest way to do this is to limit access to everyone except you. I'll link a video above about how to change these permissions. Next, restrict content records because allowing free access means that every page on your site is accessible, including the sensitive ones. So use a plugin like restrict content to keep all your data safe. Lastly, please make sure that you've enabled two-factor authentication and limited login attempts because brute force attacks are a real pain in the now, these are helpful but basic steps for proper hardcore protection from brute force attacks. Take a few minutes to watch this video. Here's one last helpful tip. Can you restore your site if you can't even access it in any way? Watch this video and you'll know how. Comment below if you're confused about anything or smash that like button if I helped you today. This is Julian, your friendly neighborhood geek and I will see you again next week.